Right after my graduation, I started to realize that I wanted to go into the medical field and being an EMT just wasn't cutting for me. But if I had known the 11 ways and chances to get into a German university, I would have been much more relaxed. Hey, I'm Felix, the happy one, and I'm a first year medical student from Germany. This video is part one of a three-part series, so maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on the other two parts. And leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, my name is Felix um, and I'm a first year medical student I'm studying at the medical school of Brandenburg right next to Berlin. Before I got into med school, um, I worked as an EMT at the local fire station and also held lectures about EMS and German civil protection agencies. Today we will talk about four of the 11 ways to get into German university to study the incredible subject of medicine. After talking through every one of them, I will rate them by ease of application and chance of admission. Unfortunately, as you all know, the system makes it really hard for young aspiring doctors to pursue their dream and one of the biggest challenges is, apart from making it through the entire process, getting admitted to a school. Today we will focus on the first four options you have in Germany. First of all, the easy way. Good A-levels, a good Abitur or good Matura. This is the classic way to get admitted to med school in Germany. If you do really well in high school, you will get a graduation with a really good grade point average. Graduating with the grade point average of 1.0 or 0.9, you are most likely to get admitted to med school in Germany. From 1.2 on and 1.3 in month, it's getting really, really hard because there are so many people performing well and 30% of the 9,500 spaces to study are reserved only for the best performers. I would rate the ESP application really hard because you need much determination and to be really good in school in order to be in this group of the best performers. But with a grade point average of 1.0, you are almost guaranteed to get admitted. Second of all, there's the complex way. You have ADH, you have ZEQ, you have the TMS or you have further qualifications. The ADH or ADH takes into account your grade point average and two further not grade point average related criteria such as your high level courses, voluntary work, have you gone through any qualifications or training yet in this field or maybe you have done an entrance exam all this counts into the RDH. Oh, and then there is the ZEQ, which takes into account work history in game and entrance examinations, for example, the TMS. This group gets another 10% of all the places available. They are reserved only for people who've done training or the TMS. Ease of application, I think it's very hard because you need to apply for a job and then go through a training program. Um, and it's really time consuming, it can take a couple of years and maybe you don't want to wait this long. But your chance of admission are quite high if you've gone through a training program and uh, you have a couple of years of work history and wrote an entrance exam, I think you're most likely to get into uni in Germany. Okay, next of all, there's the lucky way, raffling. In the extremely unlikely event of a university, having too few applicants which are qualified for the study, they will just give away all the places by lottery. In this case, applicants will randomly be drawn regardless of their qualification. Ease of application, I think it's quite easy because maybe you don't even have the grade point average, but you are lucky. But talking of lucky, your chance of admission are quite low. And last one for today is the expensive way, the lawsuit. When trying to get admitted to the uni through a lawsuit, you're accusing the institution of not admitting a number of students they could have up to their full capacities. You will have to bring up evidence that the school could handle one or two more students with the same resources. Um, but I think starting off your and your university's relationship uh, on this path is not the right way. However, your easy application is quite high. The only thing is a lost lawsuit is really expensive but your chance of admission are quite low. I personally have never heard of somebody being admitted this way. This was it for today and I hope you liked this video and got some insights into the German admission process. In case there was nothing 
In this video today, if that might work for you, stay tuned and subscribe to this channel for next week's video where we'll talk about the next four ways to get into German med school. Thanks for standing me, until next time.